And if you look in the left bottom corner of your screen, you see the last smith has turned into a cartoon and he's on his way to Toys R Us. Yo, it's big boy last smith and I'm back. Well, I'm not back because I've always been here. This is the world of toys. I brought it back because I realized that a lot of toys that I buy and that I have will probably never be seen in the stop motion because there's no possible way I could do that unless I had a big crew. So, I'll just present in figure reviews like I used to do when I first started here on YouTube. Alright, we're going to review three of Elite 22's figures, the giant Damien Sandow and Tensai, starting with Tensai. Now, Mattel, lately, for the last couple years, or the last year, to me, has really been on it. You know, they got the shield coming out, you got Tensai, you got the giant, they had Kevin Ash, you know, Cody Rhodes with the mask, you know, all that good stuff. So, uh, now, they have Tensai, Damien Sandow, you know, all that good stuff. And Mattel, you know, their figures aren't so stiff anymore. But sometimes that's a disadvantage because it'll be totally loose when it comes out like the, um, I forgot what series. Huh. The came with the Weldon Mask. Not the new one in this series, but the first one that they released. It was it was real loose, but whatever. This is Ten Time. And uh Prince Albert. T and A. T and A. Excuse me. For those of you that know what that is or knew what it was rest in peace to test but anyway gotta focus on the figure ten size wearing his red robe Japanese writing Chinese Japanese real cool and uh one thing about the, the rubbery material is not as stiff as it used to be you still can't move the arms but it's still not as stiff as it used to be accurate tattoos you know real real cool figure you got the hand open for his little finisher I forgot that Albert, excuse me, Tensai even had tattoos on his leg. Real cool figure. Oh yeah, and plus, I already got a part set for this guy at Grand Slam 2 in a match. There's going to be a good match, but you have to watch Retaliation in order to see the match that he's possibly going to be in at Grand Slam 2. Pretty cool. Comes with a helmet, you know. Not a bad figure at all. I, I didn't get the basic. Couldn't find him. Moving on is Damien Sandow, Mr. Smartman. The other week, we were uh, in Macon, and he walked past me, and I told him that my little eight-month-old cousin was smarter than him. Just picking. Love this figure, man. The robe, the mic, the scarf. It's not really a scarf. It's, like, it's supposed to be a towel, but it's not. It's really cool, it's loose. It sort of reminds me of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Series 3 John Morrison. I have it in there with uh, with the jacket, the real material. That's cool. They should do all the figures with that come with jackets, like Undertaker, you know, with the pleather, or, or Tenzai even, you know, with some type of material, you know. But I mean, teachers on, you know, it's all good, no big deal. Can't complain, love Mattel. They're, they're really backing on the figures. Hallelujah. You know, and you're welcome and all that good stuff. I like the pink, you know, the white. Just a cool figure. Naming Sandow, you know. Really cool. Oh, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Will you know something, brother? Hollywood Hogan is here on this figure review, brother. And I've got to review my brother, the Giant. Even though I took the belt from him at Hog Wild, what was it? I think it was 96, 97. That's irrelevant, brother. We're friends now. And we made a lot of money, brother. And I see that Mattel has picked up his figure. It's good to see that the Giant has a figure. Because Hogan doesn't even have a Mattel figure yet, brother. Probably never will, brother. It's all about the Giant, brother. Well, it seems to me Hogan and the NWO is taking over this figure review. You're dang right, brother. Hollywood Hogan has taken over. Oh, yeah. Well, um, he said it, you know. Giant. Elite 22, great figure, gotta love it, NWO, will fit perfect for the storyline that I've got going on with the NWO, but I'm glad I found it because it's gonna get twisted up, you guys will not expect it, I'm not gonna spoil nothing for you, just, you, gotta, just, you just gotta watch to see it, and uh, 
just 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 think about the retaliation rumble that yeah that's all you gotta think about but big show giant paul white whatever you want to call him nwo shirt great figure now check this like the tattoos you know the the leg tattoos and the arm tattoos and even that little i think he has a back tattoo too you know it's, it's completely accurate you know this is the 20 something year old paul white from wcw gotta love the figure glad i got it they had two at the k Ward and Runner Robin, so you better go and get the other one if it, if, it, if it hasn't already been gotten or bought. Listen to me sound like a dumbass using this improper English. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. I'm glad that's over. NWO's gone home, but yeah, Damien Sandow, Tensai, the Giant. Gotta love the figures, man. It's gonna be great for the new edition of the Wild World of Wrestling. October three year anniversary three years man can you believe it's been three years I sucked at first probably still do suck to some people but it's all good it's big boy last myth I gotta go to work in the morning I'll see you later it's still a cartoon <laughs>